Hello, I am Andrew Clark, and this is Amy Smith, and welcome to Film at 11. Today, November 14, 2011, our top story, UFOs around our sun. Andrew. Thank you Amy. What are these objects flying around our sun? I have been researching this for a couple of months now and have come to the conclusion that these objects exist. NASA has said nothing about this subject, and nothing has been said by any news media outlet, yet there have been countless videos uploaded to YouTube. Let's take a look at one, uploaded by me, the Alien 2006. Hey guys, Alien 2006 here. Uh, today is Monday, November 14th. Please excuse my voice and my sniffles. I am sick, but uh, I had to get this uh, thing up here today. Uh, Trying to make it as short as possible. Alright guys, we're going to start with our number one shot from today, November 14th. The sun. Again, I know we have that uh, thing here, so I'm going to put them up to about here. So we're going to get into distortion. Here we go. Here's the first image. And... Uh, Bring this thing up. So there's the date. 11, or 2011, November 14th. Okay. There's one object. Zoom in a little more on that. Alright. Two objects. I think there was just two on this one. But just to show you, it's starting to be just really common. Object one. Again, we've seen this shape time and time again. And if we go to the other one, we'll see that, also that shape like this. Anyway, we've seen this before, nothing new, but just want to show you they're still there. Why are they hanging around? Here we have one, two, three objects. Four, actually, if you count this one down here. So let me bring this up. All right, let's start zooming, and we're going to have to brighten this guy out. There's object one right here. And it's got that familiar shape. So let's go ahead and brighten that sucker up. Uh, again, I apologize for my voice, guys. But uh, anyway, I had to bring this out. So sharpness, and then let's bring it out. So there it is. That's object one. Object two is going to be very familiar. Right there. Object three is right there. Again, that same shape as the other one. Object four, I believe, was up here. There it is, and again, that same shape. So let's zoom out. Object one, oh, let me go ahead and reset. Object one, object two, three, four. Again, now we're starting to see a lot more fours, um, and so on, uh, five sometimes. And there we go, uh, there's the date. Let's close it up, I'm not gonna save it. Let's move on. Here's an interesting one that I really enjoyed uh, looking at. Let's go ahead and show the date first and the time stamp, which is in universal time. There it is, uh, November 14, 2011. There it is at 106. And there's the object. So let's go ahead and uh, move this out a little bit and zoom in some more. There it is. Let's go ahead and start bringing it out. Look at that. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and take away that heliosphere. There's the object. Well, all right, there we go. Another interesting one. Let's go ahead and zoom out of it so you can see it. There it is. Let's close it. Move on. Here's the next one showing you one, two objects right here. Um, again, it's just similar except one's bigger than the other. There's one, there's two. Let's zoom in for the date real quick, which we'll still get both. There's the date. Here's object one, has that similar W shape, and here it is again. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit more, and you can see it a little clearer there. Let's go ahead and sharpen it. There it is. There's this one, there's this one. Now, I had a comment put on a previous video by a gentleman that uh, basically stated that these are planets uh, which are reflect, reflecting, uh, excuse me, reflecting the light back. Uh, I disagree. The planets don't distort the heliosphere like this. If you, if you watch Venus go by, it's nowhere near the sun, and it doesn't show up every frame in a different location of the sun. Uh, 
uh, it's constant, it keeps moving, and it's way, way up here. Um, so, no, I disagree with that gentleman. Um, I had to remove his comment due to other language he was using and so on. But uh, anyway, there we go, there's that one. Uh, here's number six showing you an object up here, so I'm not going to shrink it up or anything, just uh, start zooming. This one's a lot more bright right here. Right, let me zoom out a little bit, sharpen it, and start taking away the heliosphere. There we go. There's the optic. It's very bright. That thing is really reflecting the light. There we go. And uh, there's an object there that I missed. Look at that. Well within that heliosphere, very close to the sun, disturbing the area around it, as you can clearly see. Take a look. You can still see the object there. There it is. It's just a dot, but there it is. It's around it. Wow, okay. See, I missed that one. Look at that. Until sometimes you zoom in close, you miss stuff. But there it is. Two. All right. See, there's something I missed when I first looked at the image. Here, there's one. There's two. There's three. Can you look a little closer around the heliosphere here? I don't see anything. Okay, so three objects again. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's bring this one in close. There it is. You can see it's very bright. You can see it's distorting the area around it. Here's another one. This one's well within as well. Uh, there it is. It's got that similar W shape. And then the one at the bottom. Let's go down. There it is. Again, that W. There's the date. Alright, there we go. Oops, wrong thing to do. I needed to do that. No. Let's move on to the next one. Get one, two, three. Three objects again down here. Let's go ahead and move this. Oops, let's go ahead and. Uh, Move this thing up and start to zoom in. Date. There's object one, W. There's another object, there's the other W. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little more. This one seems to be a lot bigger. Let's be sharpen it up and brighten it. Take away that heliosphere. You see the objects are there clearly. this side, and there's the other one again. Looks like that W shape to me. Alright, uh, let's see, that was, oh man, let's see if that was number seven. Yeah, that was number seven already. And let's go to number eight. There we go. There is an object really embedded in that heliosphere at the edge. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in, get that date and timestamp. There you go. There's the object. That thing is huge. Wow. Look at that. Now that's a big object right there. Look at that. I'm taking away the heliosphere. Look at that. That thing is huge. And close. Wow. Alright. Good one. Right, number nine. One. Two objects. Again, on either side. Let's start zooming because this is high enough. Let's go ahead and get that date and timestamp uh, 14, timestamp 656. Object one is right here. Definitely close to that heliosphere, or excuse me, to the sun's surface within the heliosphere. And over here, we have another object as well. So there's that. Let's go to 10. I'm running this one a little long. One, two, three. You know, again, it's just object after object after object. Let's go ahead and bring this one up. I know I'm making this one a little long, but there's one, two, and three. Similar uh, shapes, sizes are getting bigger, smaller, bigger, bigger, and smaller. They just uh, keep going. And here's the last one, guys. One, two, three, four. This one's well within. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to keep it as is. Zoom in, get that date and timestamp for you. There it is. Start moving up here. 
there's the one that's within the heliosphere, there's one up there, so that's one, two, three, and this one over here, four. And again, that same shade. Let's go ahead and brighten it up. One, two, three. Let's take away the heliosphere and see what happens here. Look, even by taking that out, that's still there. Definitely something there. So let's go ahead and bring it back. Okay. And, oops, the one that's up here. Again, that same shape. There you go, guys. Alien 2006. Hope I feel better tomorrow. Be good humans. And uh, have a great day. Thank you for watching my channel.